Hey guys, this is gonna be a quick review and demo on the Fit Me foundation by Maybelline. I find this ad everywhere, all over my YouTube, Google ads, and in the magazines. So I want to try it out for myself and I'll let you know how it works for me. I'm gonna do a close up to show you some spots that I'd want to conceal. For instance, I have some, like a little bit of red spots, a little bit of freckling. Um, let's see if it covers my bags underneath. Yeah, and just some red spots here and there. I just open up the bottle, put a little dab onto my hand, and ugh, I'll tell you off the bat, I do not like how it doesn't have a pump because sometimes I put a little bit too much and then it's it could get messy. Anyway, I like to use a stippling brush. This is a 187 by MAC. And I just stipple all over. Don't forget your neck. You wanna make sure <laughs> you don't want this one color in your face and then your neck is like a another color. You don't wanna look like you're wearing a mask. You wanna look as natural as possible. And that's it! <laughs> no. Okay, so I grabbed this bronzer brush. This one I got from iMats. Um, I think this was last year. And this is a crown brush from Crown Brushes. It's pretty affordable. I'll try to find the link and add this to the bottom bar. The reason why I use this rather than my stippling brush, because when I, um, if I'm to blend this, it's a little streaky and it's not, it just doesn't look smooth. So I like something that's well packed. Here's the outcome. It's nice and smooth, and actually, right when you buff it into your face, the liquid kind of turns into a different consistency. It's almost like a silky powder, soft finish. I mean, it's really, really soft, and um, as you can see, the light reflecting off my face, it does have a dewy finish. So if you're looking for a matte finish, um, you're gonna have to set it with powder. Here's a close-up. You can see how dewy it really is and it doesn't conceal a whole bunch. Um, this is a very soft finish, very natural. I'm turning here and you can still see that little red spot I had on my face. Let's go for another layer of foundation and see if it still gives you a natural finish, yet a little bit more coverage. Here we are with the second layer, and I feel like my face looks a little more porcelain. I do like the finish. And you can see it does a little bit more coverage. You can still see the red, so obviously it's still not full coverage, but still looks pretty good. So for those of you that are curious about how the coverage is, not full coverage, I wanna say light to medium coverage depending on how many layers you put on. For me, since I do have oily combination skin, I would put a setting powder just so it won't be so flashy and shiny because throughout the day, my forehead just gets way oily and uh, not great for flash photography. Uh, speaking of flash photography, this does have an SPF of 18 in it. I'm gonna do a quick snapshot to show you that it's actually camera friendly. Overall, I think it's a pretty good foundation. Um, they could definitely work on the palm if they're gonna come out with a better packaging. Nice smooth coverage, it's very comfortable, it feels very light. And if you're gonna be using this as an everyday foundation, it does work really well, it's long lasting. Anyway, that's it for my review. I hope you guys enjoy and I'll talk to you later, bye. Lots of SPF and foundation goes. Do you have to use this sink? Well, I was gonna make a shake. Okay, can you do it? I'm just, just like two more minutes. Okay. Hey.